Hi. All right. Good morning. My name is Daniela, and today I'm going to show you how to wrap a gift with cloth instead of with conventional wrapping paper, which, as we all know, you open the gift, you throw away your wrapping paper, and it's done. So it's something that harms the environment a lot because we can't really reuse it. Um, and most of the time it gets sticky. So with cloth wrapping paper, or rather cloth, um, you can choose something that's personal to you. It's another gift that gives back to the environment. So this is something that's sustainable, that's personal, something that gives you a little bit of an extra gift as well because people can reuse this. So um, anyone can do this, that's the other thing. With conventional wrapping paper, you wrap it once, and if you make a mistake, you have to do it again. Whereas with cloth, you can reuse it over and over again, and you can practice a lot with it, which makes it easier. So today I have my gift, which is a book, and it's my favorite one, so it's a little tattered. Um, the wrapping cloth, and basically that's it. So here, I've shown you guys that you can wrap practically anything. This is baby lotion. This is a candle. This is a bottle of sparkling cider, and this is my son's DS, which he wrapped by himself, so it shows you that really anybody can do this. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that you have enough cloth, because again, unlike conventional wrapping paper, if you have too much, it's okay, because you can tuck and fold however you want. So we're going to start with the cloth in a diamond shape. Um, present goes down in the center, and we're going to check to make sure that you have enough cloth on both sides and that it is even. So we check there, we check on this side again. And really, this is something that the more you practice, the better you're gonna get at. But cloth is really forgiving too, so if you make a mistake or it's not perfect, you won't notice at the end. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab opposite ends and we're gonna do one fold. Oh, this is, it takes practice, guys. <laughs> And we're going to gently lay it down so that it looks like this now. So we have two on one side and two on the other side. Now it's just like anything, tying your shoes, tying anything. We grab, you fold one time, make sure this one stays over. Fold another time. And the good thing with uh, cloth as well is that if you get like a double-sided cloth, you'll have different colors come out on the ribbon, which is awesome. And I didn't do that because I like this one too much. So again, we grabbed and folded just like you would any type of knot. And we're left with something that looks like this. So you can leave it like that if you want to, but what you do is you can grab the cloth here and we're just gonna tuck under. Because again, the good thing about cloth is that it's forgiving, it's pliable. And we're going to tuck these away. Just like this. So you tuck on either side, just under. And this one's a little bit more tucking. So that's the good thing. Then, thinking of you, right? You can add your own little things. And you can just tuck it under there like that. And what you're left with is a wrapped gift that looks pretty awesome. And it's ready for any occasion. So, baby showers, um, grandma, sparkling cider, I don't know, um, <laughs> candles, which are a really great gift, right? And, and Valentine's Day is coming up. And this is something that you can get anybody. Who doesn't like a candle? So, um, this is really something that you can do by yourself. Uh, you don't even have to buy wrapping paper. Uh, usually, conventional wrapping paper, it, even if you just put it in a bag, it's $5 sometimes and maybe more. So, with this, these squares right here at Walmart, you can buy them for 97 cents and you have a wrapped gift. Something that's special to you, something that's special to the person you're giving it to, something that keeps a little bit of paper out of the landfills and that can help us all in the end. So I hope that you guys would take away that it's economic, it's environmentally friendly, you guys can do it, anybody can do it. The more you practice, the better you're gonna be. And with these ones, the reason I have a hair tie up here is because with this one, you use a hair tie and you just tuck the fold under. And the more elaborate you get with this, the, the more it looks like a flower on top. So, candle, Valentine's Day, little presents, anything. You can do it in under five minutes and have an awesome gift to give to somebody. Good. Thank you. Thank you.